So you think you can't meditate? The truth is anyone and everyone can and you should. There is evidence-based research that promotes meditation as the perfect antidote to our modern woes and worries. From my own experience, I know this to be true. In our modern world, we are dealing with attention deficit, depression, anxiety, amongst other mental health issues. And the number of people developing stress-related illnesses like fibromyalgia, RBS and chronic fatigue syndrome is crazy. So why not try meditation? It's free and anyone can do it. And you can do it anywhere and at any time. And it can have positive effects on many of the systems that go haywire in our bodies. It can regulate our breathing, it relieves headaches, lowers blood pressure, calms the vagus nerve. The, the, the vagus nerve calms the digestive system and it also brings clarity to thinking, memory and many other complex cognitive functions. And if that's not enough to convince you to try it, meditation is the central tool with which we can cultivate a space between our thoughts and our behavior. We so often act on autopilot and react without thinking. Meditation reduces this autopilot impulsivity and reduces the fight or fight flight reflex. If you have tried meditation before, you might be thinking, but I can't clear my mind. It's not possible. It's not for me. Nothing about meditation requires you to clear your mind. Meditation is an exercise in choice. And as you practice it, you get better at it. When we engage in mindfulness meditation, we can begin to notice the storylines we create in our minds around expectations or pressures, or maybe just how much noise there is in your mind. We can train our brain to notice our mental habits, good and bad. And in noticing these habits, we have more freedom to choose how we act. So here's a short meditation for you to try. If you want to try it now, pause this video while you find a comfortable seat or just listen to it and then replay it later. So having found your comfortable seat, Sit upright, but not rigidly so. It's a position of ease and dignity. And then when you're ready, you can softly close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor, whatever feels right for you. So take a few deep breaths. And as you're doing this, get a sense of your body sitting here. A sense of the space you're taking up. And where you're starting this moment from. Physically. Emotionally. And mentally. How is your body physically right now? What emotions are present? What thoughts are going through your head? Are you judging yourself and saying, I can't do this? Yes, you can. Just suspend any judgment of yourself. Just for this moment. And the next. As you breathe in, just focus on your in-breath. 
noticing it as if it's the first time that you have ever noticed your breath and then breathing out with the same attitude just gently resting your awareness on the breath Beginning now to get a sense of this body sitting here, instead of just noticing the position of the body, feel into the whole of your body in this moment. Whether it's the first time you've done it or you've done it lots of times, you may find from time to time that you're beginning to be aware of sensations in your body. So as you maintain awareness of your breathing, see if it's possible to expand your awareness so that it includes a sense of your body as a whole. Feeling your body from head to toe. And being aware of all the sensations in your body. Being here with whatever feelings and sensations come up without judging them, without reacting to them, just being fully here, fully aware of whatever you're experiencing. And again, whenever you notice that your mind's wandered off, just bringing it back, back to your breathing and your body. Just being fully present, fully with yourself. As you sit here again, allowing the field of your awareness to expand, this time expanding your awareness to include your thoughts as they move through your mind. So letting your breathing and your sense of body be in the background and allowing the thinking process itself to be the focus of your awareness and rather than following individual thoughts and getting involved in the content and going from one thought to the next simply seeing each thought as it comes up in your mind as a thought and then let that thought go and then the next one will come and then just let that one go as you sit in this stillness. Just observing them, not getting caught up in the content. Just observing the thoughts as events in the field of your consciousness. as they come into your awareness, as they linger and as they dissolve. Thoughts can take any form. They can have any content and they can be either neutral or highly charged. 
regardless of the feeling that a thought might create for you. Just observing it as a simple thought and letting it be here without pursuing it or rejecting it. Noticing that from moment to moment new thoughts will come and go. And as the meditation ends, you might give yourself a pat on the back. For having tried this, having spent this time nourishing yourself in the state of non-doing, in the state of being, or having intentionally made time for yourself to be simply who you are. I'm going to sound a a gong to end the meditation. And as you move back into the world, allow the benefits of this practice to expand into every aspect of your life. Thank you. Thank you for trying.